Today I'm going to show you how to make a five-sided mandala. We're going to start off. I've got the monoline brush which I copied. I've changed the stabilization to 50% and under properties I have made the minimum size zero. You can see that right here. And then we click on done and there it is. Let's go over here to the actions menu. That's the wrench at the top right. And we're going over to canvas and we're going to turn on drawing guide. And then I'm going to tap outside. My monoline brush is set at 4%. And I'm going to make a line going down the middle here. It didn't work. Let's tap on layer 1, turn on drawing assist. There we go. And now we'll make a line, and there it is. Now here's a trick to centering this easily. Use your transform tool. That's this arrow right up here. And under snapping at the bottom left, make sure that the magnetics is turned off. And then if you tap over here, third from the right, it says fit to canvas, it will automatically center your line. And if we look at this and we zoom in, you can see the middle is right there. I'm going to use the eraser tool. I have it set for a hard brush. And I'm going to erase most of this line. I want to leave just a little bit down here at the bottom. And as you can see, it's almost exactly to the middle, but not quite. And the reason we do that is so when we use the transform mode arrow here, it selects from the top to the bottom. Let's go over here to the drawing guide. We'll do edit drawing guide again. And we're going to tap on symmetry. It's automatically on the vertical symmetry. I'm going to give it a blue color and up the opacity so it's easy for me to see. And then click on done. I'm going to duplicate this once twice, three times, four times. There are now five layer ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to rotate it 72 degrees. I'll take the next one. And to rotate, I'm tapping here on this green dot. And then I'm typing the number in. I'm going to type in 144. And then I'll tap on the center dot just to turn that off. And go to the next layer. And now we want to go minus 72 degrees. To do a negative number in Procreate, you tap on the green dot. You type in the number, and then you type on this plus minus sign right here in the middle. So I'm going to type in 7, 2, minus. And that makes it rotate the other direction. And we'll take this one. And it's going to be 144 minus. Now the way I calculated this was 360 divided by 5 equals 72. And here we have this figure. I am now going to scrunch all of this down together. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to add a layer. 
I'll tap on this layer 3 and fill it. And then I'm going to turn the opacity way, way down. I'll take layer 1. And then I will slide layer 3 to the right. That selects both layers. I will do the transform. And then I will do a flip vertical, which is the third from the left at the bottom. And then I can turn that off. And the reason I did that is this way. I have my template going this direction and I have it going this direction. I'm going to start with this direction, create a new layer, and I'm going to draw a circle. To draw the circle, I just simply draw it in like this. Once it snaps, I put the finger of my other hand on the screen, make it whatever size I want to make it, and then I lift the Apple Pencil, and then I lift my finger. Now I'm going to do the Transform tool again, that's the arrow, and I'm going to center it. Because on my snapping I have distance at 20 and velocity at 6.1, it makes it quick and easy for me to do that. Hit the Transform again, and there we go. And I forgot to lower the opacity on these two layers. Let's go ahead and do that. That way it doesn't get in my way. And now I'm going to tap on layer 4 and I'm going to choose Drawing Assist. That's the fifth one from the bottom. And I'm going to make my first layer right here. And it's going to be a simple one. Just a nice little petal. And I think I want my petals to be a little close together. So I'm going to do it like that. You can have it as close together or as far as part as you like. And now we're going to replicate this five times. So we're going to take layer four, slide it to the left, and duplicate four times. I'm going to take this layer four. I'm going to take layer 3, slide it to the right, that selects both layers, tap, hit this green dot, and we rotate that 72 degrees, tap on any one of the blue dots, go back to my layers, select the second layer 4 and the layer 3, and we're going to rotate that 144 degrees. Tap a blue dot, go to the next layer 4, select, tap, 72 minus. That rotates it the other way, remember. And then the last layer 4 and layer 3, tap, 144 minus. And that gives us five petals to our cute little flower here. And then I'm going to take all these layer 4s and I'm going to scrunch them together by pinching. We'll go up a layer. And on this layer, I'm going to draw on the bottom over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I think I'd like to have a circle that'll go here. Remember, tap with your, the forefinger of your other hand to make it a perfect circle. And get it generally as big or as small as you like. Lift the Apple Pencil. Lift your finger. And then I'm going to select the Transform tool. That's the arrow. And I'm going to center it this way. And I'm going to slide it up and down until it fits in there nice and snug. Transform tool again. And let's put two smaller dots on either side. One over here and one over here. To do that quick and easy, 
we turn the drawing assist back on and I'm going to make a smaller circle here once again I'm going to tap with my figure of the other hand and then I'm going to lift the Apple pencil lift my finger and I can now tap on edit shape and whenever I move one of these it'll automatically move the other one and I'm going to put them touching the first circle but not each other and then I'm going to tap outside to deselect now I'm going to go up a layer and I am going to select another circle. So we go around. I want it nice and big. Once it snaps, put my finger of the other hand down. And I'm going to want it to touch these two circles, but also fit inside the petals. So I'm going to go right about there, release my Apple Pencil, release my finger, edit shape, and then move it here. And I can resize it at this point by using the line of the circle between the blue dots. I'm going to tap it here because I'm right-handed. You can tap it on the other side. And we'll continue doing a resize and a move until it fits just right that looks good tap outside now I'm going to do the transform again and make sure that this is perfectly centered and then move it up until it gets to those dots and there we go we have a perfectly centered circle. And now for our next trick, we're going to do another petal. And that one did not work because I didn't merge this down. Remember, layer 5 is assisted. So now let's go ahead and do this petal. There we go. And it kind of overlapped a little bit there. So let's just get rid of that extra little bump. There we go. And then I want two more petals beside it. Forgot to tur turn that back to the pen. There we go one there and one there all nicely put up together and it looks kind of weird here so I'm gonna put another circle right here just to kind of fill that in and now I'm going to color in the areas here that are not the circle That just makes it look a little bit cleaner. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing with this one that we did with the one that we made up at the top. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. We'll take this layer 5 and layer 3. Remember, sliding to the right to select them both. And we will rotate this 72 degrees. Hmm. Let's pinch out that way. And then select. And we go 72 degrees. And once again, I'm hitting that blue dot after I move it so that it'll turn off the uh, numbers. So tap the green dot, 
type in 144, tap a blue dot, and go to the next one. And now we do 72 minus, tap a blue dot, go to the next layer. 144 minus, there we go. And then we're going to merge all of these layer 5s into layer 4 by pinching down. And this way, we are getting not only the five images here, but we are getting the images between them simply by drawing first at the top and then at the bottom. So let's go through here and make a very nice mandala. I'm going to speed this up and I'll put on a little bit of music for you and enjoy. And once again, we're going to do our rotations. It's the same way as the first two times. Okay, and I'm going to show you a neat little trick for getting the striped lines on a double leaf like this one. Just in case you want to try a pattern like this. We're going to go up a layer and turn on the drawing assist. And then draw a line from the center of the circle to the top of the leaf there, just like that. And then we're going to use the line as our guide. And then we go to the eraser. We get rid of our middle line. And everything on the inside of the middle part here. This is really good because you can erase without erasing the main pattern. And then we can merge these down.
All right, now that I've got my basic shape drawn and nicely outlined, I want to fill in all of these areas here with black. Because I have the symmetry on, I can do a drag and a drop. I can do continue filling with recolor up here at the top. And my flood I got here at 87%. If you have it too far down, then you're going to end up with extra spaces you got to fill in. Move it up until everything gets filled, and then move it back until just what you want is filled. And there we go. Turn off all of our guidelines. Turn off the drawing guide. And we have created this quick, easy, simple mandala. The total time that it took me to make this particular mandala has been about 42 minutes. Time definitely gets by with you on this. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.